So we can get started on today on data structures with C++. We get visitor friend and array, right? Or the array, right? Probably the most important data structure as far as complex structures goes, right? Your basic building block. Again, already you already have experience with arrays. Of course, in Python, we call them lists. In C, of course, we call them uh, arrays, right? Um, I mean, basically, without those these structures, we wouldn't basically have we have much. I mean, uh, it's like uh, I remember, like long time ago, I think it was, I don't know, almost I don't know, 35 years ago, you start doing some programming, and you need to you have multiple similar values. What do you do if you don't know what an array is? I don't know. Some of you might have done this. You start doing like variable names a1, a2, a3, a4, and a5, right? Yes. Yes. Happens to the best of us, right? So, so we don't have to do this again. So arrays are basically the idea is to store uh, data of similar values, of similar data type, right? In fact, as we'll see in C++, that's all, that's all you can do, right? Unlike Python, where you can store whatever, right? In C++, just like C, you have to store uh, just one specific data type. It makes complete sense because uh, in memory, in our data, computer memory, right, you have specific allocation, right? And if you say you want to store an integer, well, that's what you, you say, okay, I want million integers, you can allocate the memory and you'll have exactly, exactly as much as you need, right? So, so we'll learn, of course, the reason for ACE I already told you, right? Of course, we will explore the basic operations in C++. And again, since you took the Harvard course in C, you might remember some of the same things, right? Again, right. So this is basically a, a called compound data type. There, is, there are primitive data types, or as the book calls them, simple. We got them primitive data types, integers, floats, uh, booleans, uh, you know, null types, things like that, right? Those are primitives, right? Just one item, basically. But if you think about it, array is compound, things together, multiple, right? So structure, right? There is some collection. Sometimes also you see collections, right? Collections are a more, how should I say, more generic term, right? Because, are, you know, you don't know. Collection could be also something you cannot loop through. It's possible to have a collection. You, you, it's not possible to loop through, right? Not iter not iterable, right? Uh, that's like the most big, like more generic term is collection, and then you have sequence, and of course array is a type of sequence, right? Something in an order, right? There's some order to this, right? So fixed number of components, and this another thing is fixed number first, right? So unlike again, I'm going to compare Python, where you have a list, right? Where you can put whatever, you can append, right? In a C and C++ in this case, right? You are not allowed. Well, you just have the number and that's it, right? But again, but this is a classical C type array, right? We will later see something better, which is called a vector. It's called a vector in C++, which is much, much more uh, pleasant to use, actually, right? But this is like the most primitive uh, data type, which actually. Many things like um, hash maps, maps, you know, when it's called dictionaries in Python, many of these things are actually implemented using arrays. Pretty much almost any complex data structure uh, is usually implemented using uh, the arrays. Let me get the mic so hopefully everybody can, hopefully the sound is better now. I don't know, <laughs> right? So uh, let me double check if the sound is now, yeah, that's better. Now, right, so our syntax for arrays is very simple. The type array integer, exp you know, how many do you want, right? So, uh, right, general syntax, of course, is how we get the data. So let's, again, uh, let's not waste much time and let's get some, uh, let's open up cuddly space fork, right? Or did they already open it? No, I didn't open it yet. Okay, let's set up the code space for this one. And again, I love code space as far as cool computers go because I don't, I don't have to mess with the compiler. It's already there. It's a nice virtual machine, all nicely set up, right? And I have my compiler. And again, if you know a little bit of Python, I mean a little bit of uh, Ubuntu and Linux in general, it's, it goes a long way, right? So, and again, so we are there. Again, CLAN, GC plus plus version again 
Yeah, I could maybe try updating it. But yeah, all right. So I will call it uh, arrays, all right? C++, all right? And we'll play, let's play around with basic uh, C type arrays, right? And I call them C type arrays, right? Uh, right. So, so arrays are arrays are collection of elements of the same type, same data type, right type. The arrays are that's very important, right? Very important, very efficient, right? Uh, zero indexed, of course. Arrays arrays are fixed sized, right? Arrays can be iterated. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. It, 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 yeah, of course. All right. So things like that. So let's start. Include IO stream, and that's it. Well, using namespace on uh, main. We'll do. We, we for now. For now, we will put the array in main. Array in main. Right. Main. Right. Sorry. Okay. On. Uh, just basic. Let's let's have an array of ten integers. Declare. Right. So, <laughs> uh, right. So ten integers data type. Right. And of course, R. You know, just the name. You know, identifier. Right. And of course, the size. So the question now is, uh, so this part and this part. Right. Uh, well, do you need both actually? Well, clearly you don't actually. Right. But of course, uh, we could also. Uh, so accessing, accessing. Right, print first one. Right, so obviously this this should work. Right, I'm going to compile it. G plus plus uh, arrays or we all right arrays to R. Right, I'm lazy. Oh, it's so output. Sorry, output flag. Output flag R for on yes. So R element first element of course is 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 one. Right, so far so good. Right. So the question of course is now. So we need we need the size. We could also uh, how about another how about another array, right? So how about uh, initializing array to same value? We'll call R two. Well, yeah, but uh, that's that's what we're doing. I thought you could there was a trick also. Can you do this? Let's see what happens. Can we compile it? I thought there was uh, no. Yeah, yeah. So if I do this. Uh, uh, let's, let's double, double check, check if this is really the case. case. I, I, I wouldn't trust this AI here, here for sure, right? Uh, initialization. I, I thought, yeah, yeah integer, integer one, right? Um, right. I'll, I'll do five. I'll do five because I don't want to print so many, many right? Uh, so, so what, what happens, happens if, I, if I do this? What happens if I do this? Is this actually allowed? Yeah, yeah let's take a look. All right, on. Since I'm running, I'm going to go fast. Uh, 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 let's, pr let's, let's print all of them. So if you probably can imagine how we're going to print them all, right? You're going to use a for loop, right? There are actually a couple of ways of doing it, right? Uh, let's, do, let's use a normal uh, for loop. Right, so for int i equals zero, of course, right? i is less than what? Well, five, which is okay, but of course uh, I don't like this part. If we, of course, uh, the question might be now how to automatically the next question will be how to get this, uh, um, how to get this uh, item out, right? Uh, how to get this file automatically, right? Let's see if, if compiler complains about this code. Didn't complain. Right, one, two, zero, zero. But this now, uh, let's read about this a little bit more. Actually, maybe Book will mention this, right? Yeah, array index stuff is zero, right? And again, right? We can store stuff again. As long as we have, we have out the space, we are allowed to change anything we want, right? And I'll put maybe integer uh, array four, right? Array two, four, right? Uh, Last item equals, I don't know, 9,000, right? Yeah. yeah. 
So, let me compile this. Again, notice, uh, of course, that uh, zero-based indexing is always off by one. Of course, again, note, again, know the usual off by one indexing. Uh, note how last in last element is uh, is last element index is four not five right since we started we are zero index right so again this is nothing new but of course it's very common almost pretty much always right so let me compile and let me see this so we expect the last item should be 9,000, obviously, right? In that, that's, that's indeed the case. case. So the only question <laughs> is, uh, if you use this curly brace syntax, right, uh, is the, are zeros guaranteed? So let's check this actually on the on the C++, C++ reference, right? Uh, array initialization, right? And let's take a look. Uh, array initialization. So this, all right. Initial, so these things you don't worry, we won't, that will be a little later. So, brace and close lists. Okay. All right, so it is indeed correct. So, initialization from brace and close lists, right? So, notice another thing. So, uh, if we are not declaring, we are not, we don't have to declare the size, right? Meaning, we can save, skip on this part, right? Right. Yeah, right. Uh, Z. Right, I'll comment this out. Works. This is, this is fine. This is... This, this will... Will automatically set the array to 10. In this case, because we have 10 items, because we supplied, supplied, we have 10 items, right? Kind of makes sense, right? We supplied, we gave, we supplied 10 elements, right? Right. Right. So, the rest, right, right. So, compare, compare with our example. Yeah. Okay. So, far so good, right? easy right you have array you can tell the size right and again out uh on resupply the integer type of course uh, what happens you give it the garbage right something incorrect right of course compiler should complain right because here you say integer that's what you're supposed to store right that's what you are supposed to store now uh again array initialization let me give this right yeah more about arrays more about array initialization here yeah there you go now uh so looping is fine if you care about index there is actually a way of we can also we can also iterate over array elements uh, with auto yeah Let's, yeah so this is the new syntax i forget which version came out i think 2000 pretty early not too old. it's pretty little bit old right so auto element right uh, also let's print its data type yeah type id element name it should be in the LD, I guess, I think it will be, let's, let's take a look. All right, type ID. All right, also, all right, so, auto, right? Uh, could be more convenient, right? Not, so, uh, of course, it follows the, how do I say, it follows the trend, it follows the trend that uh, many, many times you, you don't really need the indexing, right? People get tired of writing this in, I, something, something, right? Because how do you know five, right? So let's, uh, you know, because you have to know how much, how many items you have, right? So the prints, okay, that's good. And uh, yes, E integer, of course, right? The type is integer, right? Okay, now uh, let's, how would we, or I should probably put it here, right? So how could I, how 
could I get size of array? And this is the very get C++ calling the C gets tricky. Right, this is kind of ugly. I'll show you this is a little ugly. But, so, yes. Uh, let's take a look if this is actually going to work. Uh, let's print, print. Uh, yeah, so, uh, print size of array. Uh, so let's take a look. So home, is this what you want, right? Probably not. It compiles, right. And uh, maybe I'll, I, I will, I'll, this is later, right? Let me compile it. Yeah, so 20 bytes, right? So yes, so how do we, so how would we uh, calculate, uh, <laughs> and this is silly, it might seem silly, like because Python or many languages you just put length, right? But you can't do it, uh, there's no such thing, well, it doesn't work quite the same way in a, in a standard low level array in C and C++, right? You need to calculate it, right? So, uh, so, so, so to get size uh, of array in number of elements, you need to know, uh, right, right, so print, print size, which element, of course, is size of first element. It could be a first or, you know, minus five, right? So this is one of those peculiarities, right? Just, I, don't, I don't know why uh, there isn't, they haven't built primitive uh, function because you could build yourself, right? To do this, right? So, or macro, right? So, in fact, people often do this, right? They build macros or uh, things for, because it's such a commonly needed thing for size, right? So, if you know you have 20 bytes stored, each element is 4 bytes, so the math is very simple. You divide the total size by the size of the in bytes of how, many, how much does each element take, right? Basic math, right? So thus to get the, thus to get the uh, elements, you divide the size of array, you divide the size of array by the size of each element. So this means size of array, size of array, right. So this you see you'll see this in code. And I thought, and again, since I haven't written C++ for a while, I thought there would be something better. But as far as I know, there isn't anything better than this approach. It seems kind of ugly and hacky, but it's actually that it works. I mean it's guaranteed to work, right? Because you have it you need the size, right? You also need the size, how many items you have in the array, right? So, uh, this is one approach how to do this, right? Of course, of course, right? Um, uh, again, remember this is fixed compile time, right? Uh, all right, because we're now using statically allocated arrays, right? There will see a more dynamic arrays in a moment as well, right? All right, so, number of elements in an array is five. So this is so, so you would calculate this, right? So, so, so it's, Instead of uh, hard coding sovereign for loop, right? Yeah. For example, yeah, something like this, right? Of course, I could store it, right? Right. Something like this would work, right? If if we do not need index. Right, so this is, of course, yeah. Oops, okay. Okay, and so what's happening here, of course, is int and long and sign int. Aha, uh -huh. so we are comparing apples and oranges, right? So this part here is not, is long and sign int. So theoretically, right, this part is bigger. This could be bigger than integer, right? So we could cast this to int, right? So, I guess I have to do this, but let's see if this is actually, um, right, I'm going to cast to int, right, is this correct, or my, or my, my cast, yeah, on sign long, uh, is this going to work, or I, oh, or I have to do this, I, I forget now, right, is this actually, I have to dismiss, but again, of course, yeah, compiles now fine, right, so now it works, uh, 
but uh, again, quite ugly, right? So we could check Stack Overflow, size of elements in array. What do they say? Size of uh, the length of elements in C array, Stack Overflow. They, they've had this discussion for a long time, right? And again, this is a very common question, right? So, right, right, size of global four, right? So, uh, <laughs> but of course, uh, right. Yeah. But, yeah. So, so the motion is again, remember, integer, com this is not a good answer, by the way. This guy, only 2500, don't trust this guy, right? Download him. Yeah, we should be downloading him. He has minus four, by the way. That's why he has minus four, because it's, it might work, but it's not guaranteed to work, right? Because this four is, is in the many bytes and integer, and that's not guaranteed whatsoever in the standard. Right, so magic numbers, right? So this is, yeah, so this kind of avoids this, right? So, yeah, and this, this is not a, a this question. So, C language, right? Yeah, it's size of array, right? So, this is the approach, right? So, by the way, uh, size T, right? We learned about type depth last lecture, right? So, size T is actually typically is unsigned integer, I believe, right? So, size T, right, is often used for that, right? special again right because uh, so you can use this right so again so, so of typically typically we use size t to store type data type to store it right so, so yeah defined yeah so size t Size t array size equals right array size right size of size of so this is a co correct right type you notice this you see type def unsigned long size t basically that's what it is basically right so again you might want you might need to cast it or what you could do is of course uh, if you don't want this cast right. Right, but if you want, this is already looks ugly, so we should probably do this one size t, right? We can do size t, right? Already size t, right? And then we don't need this cast, right? Might be a little bit better, right? And we don't need extra parentheses. This might be a little bit better, right? We'll see, yeah, right. All right, so again, if you check, right, type def, yeah. So this is again, it's been done for 40 years and it looks like it's not going to change anytime soon. Of course, uh, oh yeah, there's a warning, I'm not doing it again, again, again. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Compiles on, yeah. So I said raise five. Okay. Now, of course, because uh, there's another approach, of course, is often you know how much you do, uh, you can have a constant, right? Uh, often, uh, often, I, I have a yes. But isn't there like a specific method in C++ that just returns the whole length of elements in the array? Yes, yeah, if you have a vector. Mm. Yes, you have a vector. <laughs> and that's again, and that's what I actually suggest you use, actually. For most day to day, a vector is better, it's more flexible, right? But it's, of course, adjustable, right? Uh, really nice structure, right? So it's that's closer to a list, it's fixed time, it, it's a um, fixed data type, but you can adjust it, it has lots of nice methods. It's a, it's like a, it's a more C++ way. This is a classical C array, basically, right? So yeah, uh, so vector underneath, it's still a C array. It just has some extra nice piece on top, right? So that's what I'm talking, you're talking about probably, uh, so C++ vector, uh, C++ reference, right? And I don't know if we're gonna talk about this soon, right? It's a container for sequence, right? Generic, very nice, and it has uh, a size, I think it has size, you see it has member types, it has a, a size, right? Yeah, size type, yeah. Element access at iterators capacity. Oh yeah, yes, size. 
returns the number of elements. Uh, also, but what's interesting about this one, it also has max size, right? There's also a max size thing too, right? Because it's sort of like how much you have and how much you can put in, right? Because what happens, right? Remember, underneath, it's all just basic low-level arrays because that's the basic structure for everything. That's why we're learning about them, actually, right? Even though these days, I would say, try not to use them if you can, right? Because it's, uh, there are many better structures built on top of them, right? Because you see how much pain this is just to get the size of the array, right? Uh, so, but let's see, you, have, you store 10 and you want to store 15. What do you need to do? You need to reallocate the memory, right? You need probably create a new array, right? And then, the, you know, copy, right? All these lower level stuff, right? Which you most likely don't want to do, right? Most likely there's no need to, right? There's no need to do this, right? Why do all this low level copying, things like that, reallocation, right? We'll learn about dynamic allocation in a moment, in a few. But, uh, so, so yeah. So that's one of the things uh, is to use uh, uh, in the homework, you don't have to use C type array, you can use vectors. We'll talk about those more, but you can use, of course, also these basic arrays as well. Now, right, uh, so, uh, yeah, so access, access is this, uh, simple. So the question now is, okay, what's going to happen? Of course, inevitably, with these loads. So, so, what is going to happen when I access a C type array out of bounds. Let's try. Let's let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Right. So, yeah. Danger. 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 Let's see what happens. Yeah. Danger. So if I am completely, I don't know, sleepy and I or I have my fat fingers typing or something, I don't know, and I do this, right? It compiled, there's no errors, right? So what's going to happen when I do this, right? What do you think will happen? No. Well, the answer is we don't really know, right? It's technically undefined behavior. Again, technically the computer could burst in flames, technically, right? But of course what happens 99.9% of the time, we will get, well, I don't know, I think we'll probably get zero, but we might get something else. Yeah, we got something else, right? So this means we completely, this is why C++ is so dangerous. I have comp compiled, lets me do whatever. I basically, actually underneath these arrays, actually there's a pointer access to memory, uh, meaning I, I have access to this memory space, which is not mine, basically, right? Well, okay, there's a virtualization. I don't get to see the Microsoft server. Uh, there's a couple levels of virtualization, but uh, still, uh, I get memory which is not used by my program, basically, right? So that's why C and C++ is so full of bugs, right? Because there's no, if you use these low level structures, there's no protection, basically. It's up to you to build this protection, right? It's up to you to make sure this doesn't happen, right? So uh, again, so this is like living on an edge, right? Then it says, so, so danger, this is technically, technically undefined, yeah, most likely could print zero, could print, could crash a problem, right, yeah, so, yeah, we see plus plus, in this, oh, okay, or oh, we will take a break in a moment, this, you see type arrays, it is up to you. Yeah, it's in bounds, right? So, technically, uh, arrays are just thin, thin wrappers and pointers in C and also in C++. Right, so, yeah, so, okay. So now the danger is out of way. We'll probably see what the book says. Uh, yeah, so initially inputting data, right? So we could also do this, right? Of course, uh, uh, array. So if you want something, uh, some size, specific size, right? I would recommend, I would recommend, I recommend using uh, const uh, 
for right. So so I is t right, like something like this. Uh, my array right. You know, less less magic, right? So psi is t is unsigned integer again, right? Unsigned long technically, right? So plenty of space. You could have a huge array, right? Psi is t constant array psi is ten, right? And then of course now I can see. Uh, see is there names? Uh, yes, there is co names comp name collision, right? Uh, array size. Let's see. Compare. Comp it won't compare. It won't comp. No, it compiled. I guess there's names. I guess all different scope. I guess yeah. Uh, max uh, my size or best size. You know arrays. Or I could do it like this. R, R size, right? I'll do this. R size, right? Why not? All right. Say so this is a constant, right? Again, sometimes you use capitals, no, you don't have to, right? Our size, and we can use this, right? No. So let's use redefine our to create to create a blank array without any values. So yeah. So in our so this is also very common. So this means Again, I allocated memory, right, on a stack, actually, right, on a local stack, uh, not heap. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about what heap is, right, that's di there's two different types of memory, actually. Well, abstraction, of course, it's an abstraction, right? Uh, and basically, I have, so I have 40 bytes of memory to work with, right? Those are mine, right? But again, as you know, some other part of the program could access it actually, right? So, uh, and let's, well, do I want to print it? It will mode. It could be all, or okay, let's take a look, right? Uh, yeah. So, this is again technically not again. You'll see this is mostly garbage, probably. Yeah, you see. Hopefully this shows you what kind of garbage I got. So some are so some are initialized, some are something, right? You can get some passwords, things like that, right? Uh, so uh, very, very, you know, very. Don't don't do this, right? Don't 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 uh, again. Not recommended, say the least, right? So what we want to do, of course, we could initialize, right? So we could initialize. Let's instead. Instead, let's initialize two uh, squares squares of the index. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like this, right? So now we can print it. Now let's print the array. Yeah, right. Easy, easy, easy. Right again, I can uh, save so much typing time uh, with Copal. I don't have to. I can just give you what idea what I want to do and of course looks decent right so you can see that everything worked out all right okay now before we go to the break what else do we need to know initializing reading printing right summon right so again some largest right of course classical uh, examples uh, here of course you can do it right let's find the maximum value right in array uh, let's let's find the maximum value right the simplest algorithm you do this right max right and for size so why do i do one this is actually this is give, given an exercise for to the uh, technical university and many people like i ask them to explain this and this is where they fail they either were just basically copying with somebody else, right? And I, I, give, I ask this simple question, and like, uh, I don't know, like 20% of people, it looks like they didn't code at all, right? So why is it, why am I using one? So who can answer here? In this I'm trying to define the max value. Why can I use it? Why is, why, why is, why is oh, it? Because you're the storing the zero value. In the yeah, of course, system. right, yeah. So. It would not be technically an error to use zero here, right? It would be just wasteful. You know, it would be very tiny waste, maybe compiled and optimized, maybe, right? But one here is allowed, right? Because you start with second, right? So, <laughs> and of course, also, if for some strange reason your array only has one element, you know, our size is one, right? Your code will work. 
you can still just do last thing, right? It will be correct still, right? So uh, print max, yeah. So it will be probably 81, right? It should be 81. Do you agree? Does this make sense? Everyone? Yeah. Easy stuff, right? Okay, 81. Okay, so good, good time to take a break. We'll continue at 12.10.